Hello friends, welcome to Amazon Web Webcast and uh, in this video demonstration we are going to see the steps to configure for a lookup zone in Windows Server 2012 R2 DNS Server. In previous video we already saw how to install DNS Server rule in Windows Server 2012 R2 and uh, in this video we will create a for a lookup zone and reverse lookup zone. So as we know that DNS is used for a name resolution purpose, it resolves the host name to IP address and IP address to host names. So for a lookup zone used to resolve the host name to IP address and reverse lookup zone used to resolve IP addresses to the host names. So let's get started. Let's open a DNS management console by clicking on our tools and select DNS. This will open a DNS management console and under your uh, uh, server name, you will find out uh, for a lookup zone and right now we do not have uh, any for a lookup zone. So let's create a new for a lookup zone. Uh, to do that, just right click on it uh, for a lookup zone and select new zone. On the welcome wizard, click on next to continue. In the zone type windows, uh, select the types of a DNS zone that you want to create. As we are seeing, we have uh, three types of zone available over here. Uh, first one is a primary zone. Uh, Primary zone local file will be created on the DNS server inside the C, Windows, System32 and DNS folder. Second, we have a secondary zone. Secondary zone is a read-only copy of the primary zone. In future videos, we will discuss about the secondary zone. And third one is a stub zone. This is also a read-only copy, but we only have a three types of record in a stub zone. First one is a name server. Second one is a startup authority. And third one is a glue host records. Store the zone in Active Directory is grey out because we don't have an Active Directory installed on this server. These options will only available on a domain controller. And when you create a primary zone and you store your DNS zone inside the Active Directory, that time that zone will be considered as an Active Directory integrated zone. So click on next to continue. Uh, type the name uh, of domain for which you are configuring a DNS and for this demonstration I am going to specify msftwebcast.com and click on next. It will give you an option to either create a new zone file or use an existing zone file. We are creating the first DNS therefore we will create a new file and then we will click on next to continue. In dynamic update windows, uh, select an option as per your requirement. Dynamic update will automatically update the records of client machines. For example, if you change an IP address of any client machine, it would be changed on a DNS server automatically. It will prevent manual intervention. So for this demonstration, I am not going to uh, enable the dynamic update and that's why I will not select the allow the dynamic update and click on next to continue. So here is the summary information which we selected on this uh, a new for a lookup zone creation wizard. Click on finish to create a new zone. So we can go back to the DNS manager windows to check if the new for a lookup zone is created or not. And as we are seeing under for a lookup zone, we have a one zone msrkwebcast.com. Select the zone to check all the records created in that. We can see uh, startup authority records and NS records are created automatically. So let's create uh, one host record that would be used to resolve host name to IP. Right click on uh, your zone name and select new host and then in a new host window step the new host name and a uh, case uh, it will be a 2k12 r2 hyphen eval and this will point to the IP address 192.168.10.10 that is the our uh, IP address of our local server. Click on uh, add host. Once the record is successfully created, uh, it would show the confirmation message. Click on uh, OK to close the pop-up and click on done to close this new host wizard. So as you are seeing, now we have a one host record under our uh, zone for lookup zone msfdwebcast.com. Let's create a reverse lookup zone. So right click on a reverse lookup zone and select new zone. Click on next to continue. Here is the same options as uh, for lookup zone. So I am going to select primary zone. Click on next. Uh, we are going to create for IP version 4 as currently we are not using IP version 6 for this demonstration. Click on next. Now specify the first three octet of your IP address. In our case it will be a 192.168.10. Click on next to continue. And it also create a a new zone file under uh, system root system32 and dns folder click on next to continue and here is the same options as for a lookup zone we are not going to select the uh, dynamic update 
So do not allow the dynamic updates. Click on next and click on finish to complete the creation of reverse lookup zone. So as you are seeing, now we have a reverse lookup zone. And let's add a new pointer record inside the, our reverse lookup zone. Click on browse. Double click on our server name. Double click on for lookup zone. Double click on our uh, for lookup zone name. msoptwebcast.com and then select 2k12r2-eval. So as you are seeing, this IP address 192.168.10.10 is pointing to this host name. That is 2k12r2-eval.msoptwebcast.com. So, the reverse lookup zone, inside the reverse lookup zone, as you are seeing, the IP address is pointing to uh, FQDN and under for lookup zone, the FQDN 2k12r2.msfdwebcast.com is pointing to this IP address. So, this is the way how you can create a for lookup zone and reverse lookup zone inside the DNS manager. That's it for these demonstrations. Thanks for watching this video.